Hello, my name's Mark and these are my Dice Tales and this is just a quick chat update, maybe five minutes to say where I've been for the last couple of weeks. Um, and if you're not interested in that, there's not going to be much game talk about from maybe what I'm working on in the near future. So let's get to it. What I'm working on is sort of downscaling to 15mm games, more agnostic games, solo type rules, I think that's going to be my focus because lockdown doesn't seem to be going away at the moment, so getting sort of regular game buddies uh, is a bit of a problem. So my focuses are building some 15 mil terrain, so it doesn't take up as much space, setup, and storage in my house. And then my next big game that I want to explore is Night Watch by Patrick Todorov. He was the one that made Hardwired, which I was enjoying. I did do a video of Hardwired, but I think it went a little bit too easy for me, so I didn't want to upload it to YouTube. However, thinking about it, I might make it on a, a YouTube video about why it was easy. It's, I think it was terrain layouts. So it was a cross the board mission. And I think I'll sort of let myself down with the terrain layout being a bit too easy. That, that'll be another video if, if I get to it. So building 15 mm metal terrain, this is my start. I've got this uh, beautiful bridge system. Uh, fallen ruins, just generic ruins. Everything needs to be painted up and dry brushed. And this was made from, in the UK, from B&Q, you can get underfloor insulation. Um, Nightwatch is going to need to be painted. So Nightwatch, just like hard wires, needs about 10 to 12 models for each enemy bracket range. So I'm going with the sort of green skins being slavishly pushed by cultists and uh, dark elves. So I've got my vermin, goblins, uh, possibly spiders and rats coming as well. Um, my horde orcs, who are like the next bracket up, the deators, so d6s, deators, and then I don't know how I'm gonna, what how I'm gonna use the uh, cultists, maybe the dark elves as the d10s, the terrors. Um, some great looking heroes uh, without the backpacks on, so alternative armies heroes, they tend to have backpacks on, very cool, very old school, uh, but they look a little bit more heroic when they don't carry backpacks. I love magnets, magnets, look at that. Wow. See if it's going to focus in. Oh, yeah. These are lovely detailed models. Wraith Pal Yodup. Uh, I don't know if I'm saying their name right. So, yeah. 50 mil terrain to play with those models and then the different games I'm going to be playing with. with. So, I've already mentioned Patrick Todorov's Nightwatch, the fantasy version of Hardwired. I also picked up uh, Song and Blade Heroes, Advanced Song and Blade Heroes, and Cell Swords and Spell, spell Slingers. And then, of course, I've got to get into Skyrim which was my big thing and it literally locked down, shut that down. Uh, I cancelled my 28 mil order for it and then just ordered the, the rules instead. Uh, so I hope people will still follow my videos on that. I am looking forward to their campaign system which is due out next month, this month, I'm not too sure. Um, I dabbled in a bit of burrows and badges. I might might go down doing a video for that or how to play because there's not that many videos on that on YouTube as yet. And that's probably a bit it. There's other games that are out there like my Zona Alpha, Rangers Shadow Deep, Frostgrave Second Edition is going to drop. Uh, I fancy play, making up some Warcry cards for these little guys, so it's a more possible compact system. And there were some beta games out there, Sword, Pike and Sword, uh, some Witch Hunter in America game. And so lots of things caught my interest to do. Uh, and I think I'm just all going poof, everything's here at once. Uh, I signed up to do a few terrain competitions. There's a terrain competition for the Skyrim game. I'm fancying this little piece as a, you know, camping out in a ruined uh, bandits hideout sort of thing. Another YouTuber, uh, Hero Forge, I think it was, challenged me to a sci-fi terrain build off of 15 mil. Uh, so that would definitely fit in with high hardware. Uh, hardwired game system, but I am definitely focused on completing a 15 mil fantasy terrain so I can knock off a lot of these games and start exploring these model agnostic game systems, solo game systems, see which one I prefer. Everything's got a little bit of love that. I love the way these monsters combine to make minions into holes and it gets harder and they get stronger. Uh, that's from Cell Souls and Spell Singers. Song and Blade seems like a very simple system, a little bit like. Dragon Rampant, uh, in that you don't know whether you're going to react. You roll three dice to see how many actions you're going to take, and your opponent might react to you. Uh, I like that. And Nightwatch, which is just 
sending hordes and hordes of enemies at you like uh, like the video game Gauntlet. Uh, if you set it up right, you know, like that hardwired video. I might have to get that hardwired video done. Uh, so that is me. I don't know how long this is going to take. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you stuck with it. Um, if you're interested in the channel at all, then like and subscribe. Say what you think, what you've been working on below. Uh, and I will comment to anyone that, uh, that writes to me that way. And how, how's your lockdown been? What have you been doing? Have you explored other avenues? Has uh, newer models? I've seen a lot of people saying that I'm bored with my 40k because I'm in lockdown. I'm not playing with them, so I need something else. A lot of people have turned to Burrows and Badgers. That's my echo chamber. Uh, so I do know there are other things out there. Uh, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Mark's Dice Tales. Goodbye.